Championship Edition. So here we are with Spencer Pax and Kona World uh, Bike guys. Company Team Rider. Pretty good. Pretty much you look good. Kind of yeah, what are you wearing, Craig? Oh, just uh, team colors. That's right. I'm in Los Angeles, Hot Labs fans. This is the CXLA, SSCX LA, LA, FXLA weekend, and we're here to race bikes. Um, tonight there's a cross after dark finale, and yesterday I went on a great group ride. It was a wonderful event of touring the city, except for it was in the pouring freaking rain. What's the deal with that? I mean, here I leave Seattle thinking, oh, okay, give me a break. One or two or three days of not raining. Nope, it's like the one or two or three days of raining that happens in Los Angeles. So. Hot Laps Christmas music. Los Angeles in December. Finally, no more getting stuck in the trunk. Welcome to Venice Beach. Check out this treehouse. Welcome to the Venice Centennial Bayonia Lagoon Wildlife Sanctuary. There sure are a lot of doctors on Venice Beach. No, but seriously, there seems like there's a lot of doctors here. So we see the signs that's green, and it's only $40 to see the doctor. So we're going to go investigate. Come on. I need to see a doctor. Hey, what is this thing? Walking laps with Craig and Gareth. Hey, Gareth just won a race. Which one? Uh, Non-UCI. That's what we're talking about. Elite men, two bikes, walk the course. Doesn't yeah. matter how you do it, you just got to do it. Yeah. yeah. Tell me your lines. <laughs> uh, inside. Inside, outside, inside, upside, out. downside. Hey, John Crowley. Ooh. Hey, get off the goddamn course, hey, 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 I have a blog, too, you know. Hey, that's a sure. It's appropriate. It's appropriate attire for the weekend. Ça veut dire que c'est comme, euh, c'est genre déclassé ou tu vois Ah, en fait c'est pour toi ça Bah je sais pas Attends, tu veux que je t'aide Non, uh, that's super <laughs> good. I write to a rapper. I'm going to, to find a rapper stickers and put on it instead. James, if you were to win the single speed world championships uh, race, would you get a tattoo Uh, no. It'd be like putting a bumper sticker on a Ferrari. That's right, folks Carolyn Money, would yeah. you get a tattoo if you won the single speed cyclocross world championships? Sorry, dude, but no way. Where would it go? Where? Yeah. I think if you have a tattoo, you should have on your ass. Yeah! yeah. Championships, yeah. where would you get your tattoo? And if, would you get it? Probably not. I don't think I have enough uh, clean skin. Ouch! <laughs> Quickly, where would you put the tattoo if you were going to win? Just show me. Uh, on my knee, right here. Right there on the knee. Yeah. Okay, thanks, folks. Would you get the tattoo and where would you put it? Fucking get it right on my forehead. Yeah, that's right! Sorry. Hey, would you get the tattoo? Yes. Okay, where would you get it? Do you have an idea of a place already? Oh, okay. <laughs> See you there. Yes. Where would you get it? <laughs> I'm thinking either like lower back. Yeah, good. With some, like, Classic uh, spot. Like a tribal butterfly around. Around. We're talking strategy for the single speed cyclocross world championships. But shirt with a cape and this gigantic helmet. That's DOT approved. And then also what I hear is there's a big pool of water. But then afterwards they throw cornstarch on you so we're like basically tar and feathered. It's evil can evil racing time.